Hello, New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today is the 26th of March 2022. If I could make the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that'd be excellent. Every subscriber helps, and I'd appreciate that. So please do hit the button to subscribe. Okie dokie, today the band that we're going to look at is Adventure. And, and their latest album just came out a few days ago, Tales of Bell Part 1, Across the Ocean. Now, I didn't know too much about Adventure and, until I picked this up. And um, I heard a track from it somewhere and thought, wow, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to some long-lost album from Uriah Heep here, yeah, that, that, you know, around about the Demons and Wizards days. Checked it out some more and, and discovered that Adventure were from Norway. And... Uh, well, do, do sound quite a lot like 70s heat, strong influences of that. Went straight out, found the album on, on, a, on a website called Burning Shed, and, uh, over here in the UK, and, and, and ordered it straight away. And what a listen it is. Um, it, it's good old-fashioned, sort of like heavy progressive rock in, in that 70s heap style in general. And um, it, it, as the title suggests, Tales of Bell Part 1, Across the Ocean, it's part one uh, of, of a... Well, I, I believe there's a part two due at some point. And it, it's a concept album based on the, the tale of a, a, a Norwegian lady from the, the back end of the 18, uh, 1880s. Bell, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Bell Gunners, G-U-N-N-E-S-S. And uh, the, the, the tale is that um, Bell, so was, was Norwegian, emigrated to America in, in the 1880s to stay with a sister and um, uh, how, how can we put it um, went, went, went on a trail of uh, well basically a mass murderer um, and despite that uh, I'm laughing ironically but but this it, this this is well why really because although it does deal with with Bell's murderous past and it's a topic of you know which is is dark, the music is is generally quite upbeat, and I hope that that won't come across as a contradiction. But it, it really is so well done. The, the lyrics tell the tale in, in a in a clear and logic order. Musically, it sways between all those 1970s style heat leanings, lots of lovely Hammond organ swells going on, and and synths mixing it up, crisp driving riffs, and some mixed box style solos. Add to that some beautifully haunting vocals, particularly when, when the character of Bell is being portrayed in, in some of the songs. And it, it really is an, an, an excellent listener overall, telling that the first part of the story about how Bell got to get to America to stay with his sister, and then begins that, that trail of, of murderous mayhem and insurance fraud. Now, take, take the opening song, for example, Hell's Bells. It, it, it's a really strong number. All that heap stuff's coming in, you know, the, the Hammond organ swells, the, the ethereal synths, and, and, well, everything starts, finish, great stuff. Too Far is, is, is pretty similar, and then the album unfolds. It, it brings in some nice, short, instrumental interludes as well, and some really well-placed, gentle, piano-based stuff, which adds plenty to the general atmosphere, and and general feel of things. Yes, those Uriah Heap style influences are everywhere, but Adventure stand on their own two feet, and with, with such a well composed and well performed album as, as this one, dealing with a tricky subject, I mean, the, the, the band more than sure they've got the chops to pull this off, and, and they, they, they really do. If, like me, you grew up on all that classic 1970s heavy stroke progressive rock stuff, then you, you'll go for this in a big way. If you didn't and you just like stuff like this, you know, good, good old, well-performed, classic, sort of like, pro heavy proggy with, with a modern twist, then this is for you as well. I hope part two isn't too long in coming. In the meantime, check out, so check out part one, because it's an excellent listen. And um, so I, I, I found mine on a website over here in the UK called Burning Shed. I'll put a link to that in the description below, so you, you can go there and check it out as well. In some quick new wave of British heavy metal related news, there are new albums due from Quartz and Tyson Dog. They're, they're due soon. I've got both on order, so we'll we'll uh, look at them in a few weeks after they arrive and, and put up a, a review as well. In the meantime, 
don't let this one pass you by because it, it really is a good one. Adventure, Tales of Bell Part 1 Across the Ocean. Link to Burning Shed in the description below. So there we are. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That'd be marvellous. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and take care.